Well, it was a Labor Day classic indeed, no doubt about it. The Riders getting by the Bombers 32-30 in overtime and it's just a great football game all along the way and it really came down to some key plays in the fourth quarter yeah it was a four-point game when jamal parker for the bombers gave up a single off a punt and that made it a three-point game jake dolagala went to work and got it down into field goal range he showed great composure all of the night more on that in a second but he gets it down into field goal range. It's a three-point game now. Time is running out. Lowther makes it a tie game, and we're going to overtime. And overtime certainly did not disappoint either as the uh, Bombers won the toss, wanted to play defense first, and Dola Gallo was excellent. Well, his composure in the pocket, he hits Sam Emelis out to the boundary, and then a nice little jet route to Jamal Morrill getting him down on the doorstep. Pipkin takes it in, but in overtime, you have to go for two points after a major he does that a tremendously accurate throw to Sean Bain they get the two-point convert they're up by eight but of course Zach Kolaris isn't going to mess around this was their first play and he finds Kenny Lawley for Lawler rather for his first touchdown of the game and then of course they had to go for two to try to keep this thing alive but the Regina product Jackson Ford knocks that ball away and the Riders hang on to win 32-30 Back-to-back -back victories now for Saskatchewan. One very impressive fashion against the BC Lions. And another one, one common factor here, quarterback Jake Dolagala running the show on both of them. Well, it was just his third start, as you know. And, and to have a third start coming off a win against the BC Lions and their great defense, you wondered if it could carry on into this game against the nine-win Winnipeg Blue Bombers. And I was really impressed with just the straight composure, whether he was thrown from his own end zone, whether he was behind on the score clock, whether it was adversity that hit or he was taking hits to make passes. He was on the money and showed great composure. Finishes with 22 of 39, 326 yards passing. And... If you look at his last two games against the BC Lions and the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, 565 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. They are going to love this guy in Regina. And after the game, he had an opportunity to catch up with our Britt Dork. Jake, well, I don't think you could have drawn it up any better for a win here and the emotions you're probably feeling this moment. But describe what you are feeling after that one. Uh, it's joy. Obviously, going into overtime on a Labor Day Classic, it's, I mean, you can't, like, you can't dream it up any better. Um, we played a hell of a team today. They fought us tough, but we came out on top. In that fourth quarter there, when you guys went down and it felt like it might have been going in Winnipeg's favor, what did you guys have to do to come back here? We just stayed grounded, knew we had it in us. We executed what we need to, and we got the job done. Now you have two wins in a row. This is your second <laughs> as a starter. You're going to play Winnipeg again next week in their house. Yep. What do you expect from that matchup? I expect the same thing. Just a battle for 60 minutes. Um, but holy crap, I'm going to go celebrate this one. Well, congratulations on the win. Go celebrate. <laughs> yeah, he's very chill. Yeah. He's very calm, isn't but, he? But I love the last line. I, I'm going to go celebrate this one. Yeah. But hey, the banjo bowls around the corner, and that's going to be equally as intense. We cannot wait for that on Saturday. Should be a good one.